Hey, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, a little chilly out here, winter day. Uh, down south of the equator. <laughs> and, uh, anyways, I want to talk about the leaven of the Pharisees. And Jesus warned his disciples about this during his earthly ministry. And he said, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. And uh, even uh, in Matthew 23, you see, you know, he really calls out the Pharisees to the face, to the faces, uh, you know, pointing out their hypocrisies and how they're vipers and all that. Um, but when, you know, when he told the disciples, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy, it's interesting because, uh, you know, the, you know, the, the vast majority of the Pharisees, uh, you know, didn't get saved. Okay. So there were vast, vast majority of them were these religious, super ultra religious, uh, guys, that were unsaved and uh, you know, Jesus was concerned that they could influence his disciples in obviously a, a negative fashion. Uh, and he, he was worried about hypocrisy. Okay. And you know, if all you have is religion, but you don't have Jesus Christ, you, you'll be a total hypocrite. Okay. And, um, you know, when you, when you get to Galatians, Paul tells the story of, of Peter, how before, before the, these guys from Jerusalem showed up, Peter was totally fine eating with the Gentiles. And, uh, and, and then when these people from Jerusalem showed up, Peter got all nervous and became a hypocrite and started acting like the Gentiles were dirty again, <laughs> even though, uh, he got saved the same way as a Gentile gets saved by faith in Jesus Christ, you know, and, and Paul rebukes him and we read about that in Galatians. Um, and then, it, uh, Towards the end of chapter three of Galatians, uh, we're reminded that the scripture hath concluded all under sin. It talks about that in Romans as well. But uh, verse 22 says, but the scripture hath concluded all under sin. The promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. Verse 23, but before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith, which should be afterwards revealed. Verse 24, wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by faith. Uh, verse 25, but after that faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. <laughs> so, you know, the law is like a tutor, like a teacher, like says here, a schoolmaster to teach us that we need Jesus Christ. It reveals our sin, right? Uh, sin is a transgression of the law and the law reveals our sin to us. Uh, but after, you know, we learn that we're, we're sinners in need of a savior, right? <laughs> we are to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and then once we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, we're no longer under that schoolmaster of the law because we learned the lesson, okay? <laughs> um, and also in Romans, it talks about how, you know, it, 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 com it compares the, Paul compared the believer to somebody who's married and, uh, you know, the, the spouse dies. And once your spouse dies, you know, you're not bound 
by the law to that person anymore. Okay. And he uses that comparison to how we died to the law. So because we died to the law, we're not bound by the law anymore. Now we're a spouse of Jesus Christ. And, you know, when Jesus said, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy, you know, it's interesting because when, when you get saved, you know, you, you know it's by faith alone. And a lot of times you're totally relieved, you're so happy. And you start going to institutional church. And then they try to steal your joy in, in most cases. And they try to teach you that you're lacking something. And, you know, even if they say it's by faith alone, a, a lot of churches you know, try to get, put you under the impression that you're only right with God in the future when you die. That Oh yeah, you'll go to heaven because he promised. Uh, but they, they try to teach you you're not right now. Right. And, and then they 